A Muslim family determined to stay strong following a bias crime that has their Long Island community astounded and seeking justice. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan reporting from Malvern. Hurtful messages of hate anonymously delivered to this Malvern family's mailbox. I pulled it out and to my utter shock and horror, it was a threat note. It was terrifying actually to see it. And a couple hours later, there was another note. Victims are concealing their identity, trying to recover from the sickening threats. It said uh, that they hate Muslims and they would uh, kill us. And um, at the end of the note, they did mention that Jesus loves you. She, a former financial analyst, her husband, an electrical engineer, their son in pre med, daughter in high school, they've lived in the same house on the same block for 20 years where they felt loved and respected. I wear a hijab, my daughter wears a hijab. So, but I've always said no. In Malvern, I always feel safe. I always feel welcome here. Patricia McDonald, widow of NYPD detective Stephen McDonald, is Malvern's mayor. Something like this that ha it affects all of us. It, I mean, I when I heard this, I just my heart sank. And I could see the look on my children's face that they were like, why? Why would somebody send us this? It's written in red ink in their mailbox. The KKK is coming for you Muslims. Habib Ahmed of the Islamic Center of Long Island. Every faith teaches uh, peaceful coexistence, so it is very important we respect each other. We pray that may God help him, put him on the right path. We would be putting up cameras. <laughs> and a security system, especially for the peace of mind for my children. The Malvern community is rallying around the victims, urging them to press charges, hoping for a quick arrest, saying this type of hatred will not be tolerated here. From Malvern, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. Now, the family did not have security cameras, as she said, at their home. Nassau County police are going door to door, searching for videos that may have caught the crim criminal in the act.